Hey, what's up? It's Sienna from The Curious Chick. This video is about a really cool beach that I recently discovered. It's called Black's Beach. I learned about it by watching a documentary by Chris Boyd. He's the producer and director, and it was a very fascinating documentary that prompted me to go there and visit. It was written up in the San Diego Union Tribune, and you can see it on KPBS. I have a link to that in the video description below. You can also view it on its Facebook page, Black's Beach, the documentary. Black's Beach is located in the northern portion of San Diego in La Jolla, and it's at the southern tip of Torrey Pines State Reserve. It is also where the Ho Chi Minh Trail terminates. Black's Beach was named after a family who moved to the area in the 1940s. It's nearly two and a half miles long and at the base of 300 foot high sandstone cliffs. So Black's Beach is known to have a lot of activities that you can do there. There's tide pools, there's hang gliding and paragliding, which you can see them floating around um, above you. It's also a very big surfing spot and it's been a very popular surfing spot since the 1960s. Everyone knows Black's Beach to be a nudist beach where clothing is optional at the northern end of the beach and it's one of the largest nude beaches in America and I did walk through. It was an interesting experience, quite awkward at times. There were a lot more males than females and they were very proud of themselves. I would have to say the two things that I did not expect was that one, all the males were pretty well endowed, and two, they were really good about grooming down there. So it was just kind of awkward trying not to look, but they obviously, they do look back at you. And yes, if you're wondering, I did go nude, but it was for like five minutes and I was kind of sitting down and it kind of like showcase myself a lot. But that was interesting. I can say that I did it. Check it off my bucket list. Getting to Black's Beach is very difficult and sometimes dangerous. I highly recommend that you research thoroughly the route that you plan to take. Certain routes are actually pretty dangerous if you're going during high tide, so you need to make sure to go during low tide. There's also a lot of signs uh, warning you about potential slides, so be very cautious about that too. If you're trying to access the beach from the south, there is a nicely paved road that takes about 10 minutes to walk and that can be found on Black Gold Road and La Jolla Farms Road. Don't confuse it with the trail that's just beyond that. That was the route that I accidentally took and it was the hardest route possible. Very high, very steep and narrow with a lot of um, overgrown foliage. Kind of went through a canyon and there was water and it was kind of like really muddy and my foot was getting stuck in the mud and at the very end you even have to rappel down a rope. I was pissed at myself, I was pissed at the world but I made it out alive. But then we found that paved road to get back up and that was amazing. If you're going to do more of the hike routes getting there please remember to wear the proper attire and the proper footwear. I had a lot of fun, it was a very beautiful beach, so I highly recommend it next time you're visiting San Diego. Check out Chris Boyd's documentary on Black's Beach, um, and again, links below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave us a comment, and subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Curious Chicks Travel.